So the rest of this chapter is all about the details of neuronal signaling. It's going to get um, difficult and complex. So I want to provide an overview to the topic first in terms of what's happening across the entire neuron. Um, so here's a neuron. It's a multipolar neuron is what we'll use as kind of our example. You know that this is the cell body, also called the soma, and that has dendrites that come off of it. Um, and those are going to receive incoming signals from somewhere else. The axon is a long projection that travels somewhere else to contact something else. So there's axon terminals, the ends of the axon. And down here, there's some other organ. Let's draw is just a big box here. Um, this is our effector. Could be another neuron, um, could be muscle. We'll talk more about that. So our goal is to generate and then transmit an electrical signal down this axon. What is electricity? It's the same thing it is in the wiring of your house. Um, however, most people don't really understand that that well either. Um, so what electricity is, is the movement of ions. What are ions? Ions are charged particles. And it's primarily gonna be potassium and sodium. It is potassium and sodium for the transmission of electricity down this, this axon. There's gonna be other ions involved um, at the dendrites and cell body where we're gonna have what's called graded potentials opposed to an action potential. You've probably heard of the term action potential. Um, it's called potential because it's talking about the, um, let me just circle those and we're gonna add one more here. Um, it's talking about the difference between charge in the inside and outside of the cell, and that provides um, a, a type of energy. So as a brief reminder, cells at rest have what's called a resting membrane potential. And in neurons, as well as muscle cells, it's very negative. So if we were to measure the difference in voltage between inside and outside of the cell, it would be about minus 70 millivolts for a neuron. It's more negative inside the cell compared to outside the cell. Um, that's the resting membrane potential called RMP. You'll see it abbreviated. That's causing um, an electrical gradient where positive things have a drive into the cell and negative things have a drive out of the cell. It's a reminder of electrical gradients. Um, please also remember we've talked about concentration gradients where there is high sodium outside the cell compared to inside and high potassium inside the cell compared to outside. Those gradients are also going to be important for um, neuronal signaling. This is our concentration gradient. So we are gonna be using those gradients um, in this material. Okay, one more picture of a neuron for the overview with a little bit more detail. So this is the same thing I just showed, but um, what's different is what the draw someone else drew it. It has a postsynaptic cell over here. So this neuron, that we drew before is the presynaptic neuron. There is a synapse in between where this neuron talks to another, in this case, another neuron, um, a postsynaptic cell, which looks like a neuron to me. Um, so we'll be going through, we've, we've talked about the resting potential already. We'll review that more if you need to. We're gonna start by talking about graded potentials. Graded potentials are also called local potentials. They're happening in the dendrites and cell body.
anywhere prior to the axon hillock. Um, then we'll talk about how, so how those generate, sometimes generate an action potential. So this is where we're starting. Two is our action potential. How does that work? And how is it propagated down the axon? Then we will do synaptic activity. So look at synapses, um, what happens here, and then how it affects this cell over here. When we get to this cell down here, we're the same place as our start, right? This is the same place as our start. Um, so we're going to be fully understanding this communication and it will help hopefully make the start, the gray potentials make even more sense. Um, but just kind of an overview of, of where we're going here um, and try to, you know, remind yourself of where we are as we go through this complex material.